How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. This is the Crypto Slayer. We're going to be talking about IOTA. And this is a snapshot of the 10th of December of 2017. IOTA was above XRP, above Litecoin and Dash, right below Bitcoin Cash. And it was sitting at $11.4 billion in the market cap. This is a screenshot, of course, of CoinMarketCap.com. But, you know, the price recorded here was $4. And a couple days after the 10th of December, IOTA actually reached its all-time high, if I'm correct right here, if I'm being exact. It's the 18th to 19th of December of 2017. It was recorded that IOTA reached $5.36. Um, we can actually get an exact all-time high price. If you go down here, it's actually 5 69 what a nice number <laughs> so we're down 76 percent from our all-time high so literally there's a lot of room for this to grow in price to even reach its all-time high and it could still in my opinion do a two or three x of what it did in the last cycle so we're talking about literally a 10x from here this is literally what i'm seeing guys when it comes to iota a lot of people are predicting that Towards the end of October and beginning middle of November, we're going to see a lot of price action for Bitcoin. And that, in effect, will obviously trigger the odds to go parabolic. And we're going to have you know, that's a similar event, a similar event to what happened in 2017, or at least to what happened in 2013. Because 2013 had its own cycle where it went parabolic as well, and everything went crazy. And IOTA is, a, is an asset that is... Uh, you know, obviously, it is being employed by the IOTA Foundation, and their working group is in climate action, education, energy, finance, governance, healthcare, identity, interoperability, mobility, privacy, public sector, real estate, social impact, and the supply chain. This is what the ANATBA is describing the IOTA Foundation and what they're actually trying to cover and what, what markets and industries they are going for. And that's what they're all about, essentially. They're really covering the whole space here. The Inatba is the International Association for Trusted Blockchain Applications. Inatba offers public and private developers and users of DOT a global forum to interact with regulators and policymakers and bring blockchain technology to the next stage. And if you're a member of this, like Ripple and Quant, then this is one step in the right direction and bringing clarity and also adoption of this technology in the world in the real world actually so this is very important guys okay so i mentioned in that but pretty well but iota partnerships are building digital trust together together with partners iota is building an open infrastructure for our digital economy ready for humans and devices and iota collaborates with over a hundred organizations across business government and academia to develop open source solutions and provide thought leadership in key iota use case areas including Jaguar, Land Rover, which are car companies, Dell Technologies, NG Lab, TM Forum, and Napa. We already mentioned this one. The Construction Blockchain Consortium. You also have, if you go down here, these are solution partners. And apparently they have 300 plus referencing patents with a thriving community of 235,000 members. If you go down here, some of these partnerships you guys won't recognize because they're from Germany. German companies, I assume, by the names and everything. You have Tangle Hub, Tangle Kit, and the Biotosphere. What the Tangle is, it's a something that's way different than the blockchain technology. It's so much different than Bitcoin and Ethereum because the Tangle is, a, is another word for the DAG or the Directed Acyclic Graph. That's what allows for this data and value transfer to happen literally with zero fees for free and at very fast speeds very efficient and also eco-friendly as well and here are the working groups so the linux foundation the chamber of digital commerce is very important mobi uh, this is a hyperledger member the data.austin texas government website which is the official city of austin and this is their open data portal so here you can track everything to do with transportation health neighborhood public safety and this is just to retrieve data and have full traceability of whatever's going on in the city. I think the more important partnerships are with the Inatba and also TM Forum, as well as the Linux Foundation, the Chamber of Digital Commerce. And I'm going to actually make a uh, draw a connection to those here. So this ISO 222 ecosystem, with the exception of 
of obviously quant not being here other than that this has been pretty pretty accurate so the only thing i would add would be quant and its connection to sap and also um these other different organizations like the linux foundation hyperledger but as you guys can see iota is connected to the tm forum here and there's a line from the tm forum all the way to r3 because r3 is a member of the tm forum as well and then iota is also connected to the linux foundation or alvarium and the data confidence fabric as well so another worthwhile mention in the partnerships that the iota foundation has is its connection to the hyperledger fabric so this is a very big step for the iota foundation towards becoming a standard transfer protocol in the industry this has to do with the internet of things or the iot i always compare hyperledger to the intranet not the internet but the intranet which can only be used within your own company in contrast iota technology that includes iota streams micropayments can also be used for secure external data exchange with other companies this interoperability and the use of smart contract technology will result in a variety of new applications in the future and the acceptance of iota technology in the industry will thus receive an enormous boost so i'm not going to go over the entire article but they're integrating hyperledger fabric with the iota tangle and that way there's there's more interoperability when it comes to the iot and everything to do with that industry in itself here we have the article about iota launching their groundbreaking smart contracts beta with zero fees so iota foundation launched the beta of the network's new smart contracts which offer the emerging digital market space high speed low impact and transaction fee free functionality and an exciting move the smart contract beta also enables interoperability between iota and erc20 tokens due to the inclusion of the ethereum virtual machine or the evm this will facilitate smart contracts written using ethers solidarity language anchored within iota's tangle other interoperable languages include go and rust other features include the usage of full network sharding to enable developers to wrap smart contracts onto the base layer of nativized tokens enabling high degrees of interoperability the update will also empower developers to, to set their own iota smart contract execution fees this dynamic pricing creates an incentive to drive down fees since different chains can compete for the work of executing a smart contract. And then it says that the IOTA smart contracts beta can be tested on the IOTA 2.0 DevNet, which if you click on it, it leads you to that website where you can test that out. You can see it live or try, I think, try the wallet. So it's very interesting, guys, how that works enough talk about the partnerships now let's talk about what it can do in the short to medium term in terms of price action iota has always been the top 10 crypto for the most part up until 2019 and 2020 when dogecoin and all these other tokens just started to take over like terra uniswap avalanche solana so obviously you got knocked down to number 40 something 49 and it's hanging on by a thread literally it's hanging on by a thread it's trying to maintain its spot under the top 50 crypto tokens by market cap on the coin market cap rankings and this one has 276,000 people watching it so I, I tried looking at the explorers to see how many holders there is for this in total i only found the the binance smart chain side of things and it's 6854 which isn't really an accurate estimate how many people are holding this because that's just a binance smart chain we don't know how many people are holding this because uh, when you go to the tangle and then you go to explore iota.org it doesn't tell you the amount of holders or addresses so we you can only speculate and say that there's twenty thousand or thirty thousand or whatever it is you could you could say whatever number um you could compare this to tokens that have a similar market cap and that have been around for this long as well as over 250,000 people that are watching it and then I can give you an idea how many people might be holding this which I wish I could tell you but I don't know I really don't know all I know is that it's still undervalued in my opinion the reason why I'm making that assumption that it's still undervalued is because of the fact that it hasn't reached its all-time high not even close okay so if you look at the current price of this it is sitting at a dollar and 32 cents it is down like 0.87%, which is less than a percentage or a percentage if 
if you refresh this because coin market cap isn't always 100 percent accurate but if you look at the year though it went up to a, as high as two dollars and fifty cents and then it just started falling ever since literally april and since then it went to as low as 70 cents or actually 60 cents which is wow that's a really good buying opportunity in my opinion for this token we were buying it for dirt cheap if you if you were able to scoop this during like the middle to late july of this year which is insane to even think about that we're in this in this part of the bull run and you could have scooped this token up for like 60 cents you could have scooped up a bunch of these tokens and Hold on to them like for dear life but now it looks like we're going back up to the upside we are at a dollar and 30 cents we're still under all grand in terms of like the price of the token but all grand does have a bigger market cap as a bigger circulating supply so that's the reason why the market cap is is a lot higher is because if you multiply the total amount of tokens that are currently circulating which is 6.15 billion times the price of this token it will give you that market cap which is almost 12 billion um so that's the reason why it's a much higher market cap um iota is just more scarce it's, it just has it has that whole scarcity built into it because of the fact that there will never be more than 2.7 billion of these tokens and you know once once everyone is is staking this and once everyone is is literally gaining value from just sitting on these tokens and making passive income um the the price is going to skyrocket because the the companies that need this the companies that that need this for to issue those payments and and to execute those smart contracts bro it's, it's the price of this is going to go up like tremendously and just from people buying and holding this um this is going to facilitate that whole interoperability for the IOT industry, it's gonna it's gonna allow for that interoperability to be to be possible. Because without this, uh, working with Hyperledger, there's just no way, uh, no way that these devices and are gonna be able to connect to all these different blockchains and DLTs and networks. So it's going for a big market. I'm talking about a multi-trillion dollar market for sure. If I sound a little tired, guys, I'm sorry. I barely slept at all, so that's the reason why. <laughs> but it's all good. We're making this video very excited to just put this out there man finally because i know you guys were telling me on twitter to make this video and talk about this iso 222 token this is going to be compliant with those standards so that's why i believe that this is it's going to be utilized guys in the new financial system it's going to be perfect for it they're calling for the fourth industrial revolution and part of that is 5g drones digital identity blockchain internet governance development finance banking and ca capital markets being revamped everything being revamped international trade and investment global governance future of health and healthcare, financial and monetary systems we know ripple is helping completely like restart that essentially um there's a lot of climate change you know these tokens are sustainable especially the iso ones and yeah it's, it's literally what it's going to do guys that's the agenda behind this token iota which is going to deal with the uh, internet of things um an example of something going for the internet of value or the iov is ripple and stellar they're going for the internet of value so that's different that's like how you send value across the internet just like how we send information today like emails and stuff instantaneously the internet of value is how you send that value the same way and the web 3.0 just deals with oracles and nfts and all these ways to protect your data and monetize your data and stuff like that but i won't go into too much detail i won't hold you guys on that one but yeah iota guys long-term potential i think it can definitely do a 10x from here and go up to 13 dollars maybe even as, as high as 15 dollars. that's very possible because that would be a 2 to 3x from its all-time high that it had in 2017 and the reason why I think that's a possibility is because Cardano or ADA went up 3x from its all-time high in 2017 in that cycle. So it went, it was a dollar in 27 in 2018 actually to be exact. But we're we're talking about the cycle being 2017 to 2018. We always say 2017 because that's when Bitcoin, you know, obviously reached its peak. But yeah, and on what was this? This was like the fifth 
the fifth of uh, January of 2018 was when Ada was a dollar, and it actually ended up reaching close to three dollars, guys, around September 1st of this year. So yeah, that's what I mean by basically, if I auto follows that that similar parabolic impulse that Ada went on, then yeah, it can definitely do a three x from its previous all-time high which its previous all-time high guys we already saw that it was a that was five dollars and 69 cents so if you do the math five dollars and 69 times three it gives you 17 dollars per token uh, and it's very possible guys with the scarcity that is involved with iota on only having 2.7 billion tokens available and all of them are already circulating it's going to be very possible and easy for that to take place now, another example of a token that reached th and did a 3x of its previous all-time high uh, from that previous cycle is Ethereum. It went up to $1,300, almost $1,400 in the 2017 bull run, and it actually crossed $4,000 uh, multiple times this year, literally. like It feels like multiple times because it did that on the 10th of May, and also right now it's literally up there again. like. At 4100 so yeah and and also bitcoin did that so that's yet another example of another top 10 cryptocurrency that literally did a 3x from its previous all-time high like look at bitcoin it went from 19k to 60k that's a 3x easily like that and another one that i want to mention is uh dogecoin obviously did multiple x's it, it multiplied it itself many times from the previous bull run like look at the 2017 um blip in the map like it's just it's ridiculous how high it went up literally did like a thousand x or something from um the all-time low price of that year up until now like it's crazy and even from its all-time high in the previous cycle it still it still did like a a um 70x this cycle so it's, it's insane how just high it went um other than that, Stellar, is a, Stellar and XRP are tokens that still haven't reached their all-time high. Like As you guys can see, Stellar almost got up to its all-time high, but it, it didn't quite get there. XRP hasn't yet. It needs to get to $3.80. And there's so many other examples of tokens that were around in 2017 to 2018 and that haven't reached its all-time high. Um, Algorand hasn't been around for that long. But yeah, if, if Iota follows all these other tokens, guys, in my opinion, I think it will get beyond five, six dollars, and it will obviously get to at least ten dollars. I'm willing to bet that it will, it will have at least a two x on its all time high. Five point sixty nine times two does get you to eleven, twelve dollars, and that's a almost a ten x from here at the, these prices, guys. So I'm very bullish. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. That's gonna be it for today. I'm gonna wrap things up because this video is already reaching 18, 19 minutes, guys. Thank you all for sticking to the end of this video. And if you did, comment iota to the moon if you did stay up until 18 minutes or whatever, and that would mean the world to me. I hope you guys can stay tuned for more videos that are gonna be put out this week. One that's coming up is VeChain, and another one that's possibly on my list is Cosmos, and right after should be xdc and uh, not in that particular order but i might decide the order later and i might bring the video about xdc out first and then v chain and on and on so again talk to you guys later i'm out